everybody. I hope you're doing well. Today is Sunday, April 5th. Seems like all the days are kind of blending together, doesn't it? I hope you've had a chance to get outside this week. We did get some nice days and some warm weather, which was wonderful. Um, I hope that you've been able to find some books to listen to or to read. Um, I'm going to try to read a couple of picture books and start a chapter book um, each week. You can access these by going to YouTube and typing in the Spring Mill channel. And there are several teachers who have posted read alouds and there will be some other teachers who put lessons on there also. I will also be updating your Canvas page. It's under Spring Mill uh, Media, uh, whatever grade you're in will be after that. And there will be links that go directly to that YouTube channel. Um, I will hopefully be putting some activities and um, some other um, things that you can do on there um, each week. I would love to hear from you. On the Canvas page is my email address and also a phone number where you can text me. And I will get back to you. Please let me know any suggestions you have for books or other things that you would like to see on here. So, today the story I chose is called The Stinky Cheese Man and Other Fairly Stupid Fairy Tales, Fairly Stupid Tales, by John Siska and Lane Smith. And we do have uh, several of their books in our Spring Mill Library that you can check out um, in the fall. This book has several chapters. I'm not going to read all of them, but I chose a few that I thought were funny that you would enjoy. And the first one is called The Really Ugly Duckling, of course, taken from the story, the fairy tale, The Ugly Duckling. Once upon a time, there was a mother duck and a father duck who had seven baby ducklings. Six of them were regular looking ducklings and the seventh was a really ugly duckling. Everyone used to say, what a nice looking bunch of ducklings. All except that one. Boy, he's really ugly. The really ugly duckling heard these people, but he didn't care. He knew that one day he would probably grow up to be a swan and be bigger and look better than anything in the pond. Well, as it turned out, he was just a really ugly duckling, and he grew up to be just a really ugly duck. The end. The next one is called The Other Frog Prince. Once upon a time, there was a frog, and one day when he was sitting on his lily pad, he saw a beautiful princess sitting by the pond. He hopped in the water, swam over to her, and poked his head out of the weeds. Pardon me, O oh beautiful princess, he said in his most sad and pathetic voice. I wonder if you could help me. The princess was about to jump up and run, but she felt sorry for the frog with the sad and pathetic eyes, I'm sad and pathetic voice. So she asked, what can I do to help you, little frog? Well, said the frog, I'm not really a frog, but a handsome prince who was turned into a frog by a wicked witch's spell, and the spell can only be broken by the kiss of a beautiful princess. The princess thought about this for a second, and then lifted the frog from the pond and kissed him. I was just kidding, said the frog. He jumped back into the pond, and the princess wiped the frog slime off of her lips. The end. The next one is called Cinderumpelstiltskin, or the girl who really blew it. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful girl named Cinderella who lived with her wicked stepmother and two ugly stepsisters. These step relatives were not only wicked and ugly, they also made Cinderella clean the house every day. One day, the local prince announced that he was holding a fabulous ball at his castle and everyone was invited. The stepmother and stepsisters got all dressed up to go, but as usual, they made Cinderella clean the house, so she didn't have time to get ready. After the stepmother and stepsisters left for the ball, Cinderella sat down and began to cry. Just then, a little man appeared. Please don't cry, he said. I think I can help you spin straw into gold. 
I don't think that will do me much good, said Cinderella. I need a fancy dress, glass slippers, and a coach. Would you like to try to guess my name, said the clever little man. Cinderella looked at him. No, not really. Come on, do you think it's Chester? If you don't have a dress, it really doesn't matter. Oh, just guess a name, any name. I'm not supposed to talk to strangers, said Cinderella, and then she closed the door and left the little man standing outside, screaming, Rumpelstiltskin, Rumpelstiltskin, Rumpelstiltskin. When the stepmother and stepsisters got home from the ball, Cinderella told them about the strange little man. They still made her clean the house, and meaner still, they changed her name to Cinder Rumpelstiltskin. The end. Obviously, that was a cross between what two stories? Cinderella and Rumpelstiltskin. And the last one is called The Stinky Cheese Man. See if you can figure out which fairy tale this came from. Once upon a time, there was a little old woman and a little old man who lived together in a little old house. They were lonely, so the little old lady decided to make a man out of stinky cheese. She gave him a piece of bacon for a mouth and two olives for eyes and put him in the oven to cook. When she opened the oven to see if he was done, the smell knocked her back. Phew, what is that terrible smell, she cried. The stinky cheese man hopped out of the oven and ran out the door calling, Run, 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 as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the stinky cheese man. The little old lady and the little old man sniffed the air. I'm not really very hungry, said the little old man. I'm not really all that lonely, said the little old lady. So they didn't chase the stinky cheese man. The stinky cheese man ran and ran until he met a cow eating grass in a field. Wow, what's that awful smell, said the cow. The stinky cheese man said, I've run away from a little old lady and a little old man, and I can run away from you too. I can, I'm sorry, I can run away from you too, I can. Run, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the stinky cheese man. The cow gave another sniff and said, I'll bet you could give someone two or three stomach aches. I think I'll just eat weeds. So the cow didn't chase the stinky cheese man either. The chinky, stinky cheese man ran and ran until he met some kids playing outside. Gross, said the little girl. What's that nasty smell? I've run away from a little old lady and a little old man and a cow, and I can run away from you, too, I can. Run, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the stinky cheese man. The little boy looked up and sniffed the air and said, If we catch him, our teacher will probably make us eat him, so let's get out of here. So the kids didn't chase the stinky cheese man either. Notice how the author changes the font in the story. Think about why he might do that. By and by, the stinky cheese man came to a river with no bridge. How will I ever cross the river? It's too big to jump, and if I try to swim across, I'll probably fall apart, said you-know-who. Just then, the sly fox, who shows up in a lot of stories like these, poked his head out of the bushes. Why, just hop on my back and I'll carry you across, stinky cheese man. How do I know you won't eat me? Trust me, said the fox. So the stinky cheese man hopped on the fox's back. The fox swam to the middle of the river and said, Oh man, what is that funky smell? The fox coughed, gagged, and sneezed, and the stinky cheese man flew off his back and into the river where he fell apart. The end. And those are the stories that I wanted to finish today. They, um, it's fun to read the whole thing because at the beginning they start telling a story, and then it goes, the skips several pages to tell other stories, and then part of the beginning story is here, and then it comes again at the end. So it's kind of an interesting and fun book to read. Um, so I hope you have a great rest of the day and a good week. Please keep in touch. I'll be glad to text back or um, we can Zoom or however you want to chat. And um, I really miss you guys and I hope you're doing well.
So take care and I'll see you next time.